Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you a few simple ways to edit your audio. Uh, we're going to look at muting and then at fading in and out and then at how to detach the audio from your video. So the first thing and the easiest is to mute the whole track. Uh, so as you can see I already have my video in here and my video has sound now. And what I can do, I can just click this button here and mute it. And now there's no more sound. You can see that um, the sound waves disappeared from here. So this is very useful if you want to add a different soundtrack, for example, narration or music. Um, so for instance, now I can add an audio track here and I can just put my music on it. Okay and now I have the same video with music. Okay, now sometimes you might have different clips on a track, so you don't wanna mute the whole thing, so you just wanna mute a clip. And we have two options for that. First, we're gonna select the clip and we can open the properties panel. And here you can see audio and from the track, you can choose none. And let's see. Right, no sound. Now you see this is a bit different because now I can still see the sound wave here, but the video doesn't have any sound. A different way to do that is to apply a filter. So again, select the clip that you want to mute and then go to filters and it's an audio filter that is called mute okay so again no sound now in my experience this one sometimes doesn't work very well so i've noticed when i had many clips on a timeline and I muted some of them and then I would go back and they were not muted and I had to do it again and then it finally worked. So if you do use the mute, make sure you check if it actually works. So I have my music back here, but I don't want it to start really loud. Maybe I just want it to start very um, at the very low volume at first. So again, one way to do this is with filters and there's um, fade in audio for the beginning and then you can see this bit here and then you can have a fade out for here and you can adjust it as much as you want and let's see if that worked I'm not sure if it, that works or not uh, because this is uh, um, the sound here is not very loud. Again, in my experience, this filter sometimes doesn't work, and you might find that it doesn't do what it um, it that it didn't uh, change the sound at all. So if that doesn't work, so I'm just going to remove it. You don't need to go through the filter option at all. You can just look for that throbber right here. You see the black dot. If you grab that and pull it directly for as much as you want, then it's going to apply uh, that same filter. And in my experience, this works better, but just see how, how it works on your computer. And you can do the same thing with a video actually, but in that case, you see you have the throttle here and you can apply this, but in that case, it's going to also fade in or out the image and it will look like this. All right, now let's look at detaching the audio. Maybe you wanna use just the audio from this video and attach a different video. I'm gonna open an audio track and then make sure your clip is selected and you can copy it with Command C or simply right click and copy. And then go and select the audio track and Command V, paste. Or you can also use this button here for pasting. And 
put it somewhere else but you can move it of course now wherever you want you can just delete this video and use the other image that you want um, so that's it. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.